Right now, uh, our main uh, focus is plasma radiation source development uh, projects <clears throat> because we work with a lot of experimentalists uh, at this uh, DOE and NSA, the National Nuclear Security Administration um, supported labs and also they support us. So at the uh, Sandia lab, uh, National Laboratories and at Livermore National Laboratories. Yes, that's, that's the advantage of NRL. Um, it has a uh, number of group of people and the particular plasmics division is very broad, covering everything from high altitude nuclear physics or high altitude physics with the particles in the heliosphere of the sun to particles at the magnetosphere on the earth, all the way down to experiments in the laboratory. Um, and I think that's one of the things that makes the plasma physics division uh, interesting. So my branch works on simulation and modeling of uh, radiation sources uh, for, to, in order to test the survivability, reliability uh, of nuclear weapon systems that the U.S. has. What we do is we not only uh, predict this radiation, we also sometimes guide them to use the, for, the, for their load design and for we use spectroscopy to diagnose for diagnostics. The radiation sources are, appointment, are, appoint, are important to the Navy and the entire Defense Department because uh, Navy systems and other branches of the service, their systems also, can be harmed by either nuclear or space radiation. We're talking mostly about satellites and missiles here. And the idea is to replicate some of this radiation in the laboratory so these systems can be hardened and their response to radiation can be determined before you build a multi-million dollar or billion dollar system and put it in orbit. And so there's a continuing interest in radiation sources, mostly, mostly x-rays, powerful pulses of x-rays. They are producing the world's most powerful x-rays. Okay? And this is extremely important. And now the fact that we are at NRL is working on these projects gives a lot of visibility, not just to our branch and to the lab, but to Navy. If you want to do good science, have great colleagues uh, and do a good mix of classified and unclassified work that, is, that will benefit the Navy and the nation, this is, this is a terrific place to work. There's no question about it. One, one thing that uh, has really forced the physics to be better is the improvement in diagnostics, which is not my area, but I have to understand what the diagnostics say in order to see if the models match it. And that's called validation. And so that's been a significant change from the early years. So yes, it's changed less than you would find typical for private, for private industry. A lot of this is very basic. The laws of physics aren't going to change. Force equals mass times acceleration in 1975 as well as in 2016. Before, uh, it was not possible to do the atomic physics calculations or the, the theoretical work uh, even 30 years ago, I would say, uh, than what you can do today. More and more uh, experimental facilities are improving their, their capabilities. Uh, it, the reason for doing that is like to maybe someday we can have uh, clean energy. I would say that given that our group is so small, uh, doing similar research anywhere else, whether it's a other big lab, DOE labs, or at universities, our capability is very unique. So when you come here as a young person, let's say you just got your degree and you come here, and then here, because you're such a small group, we get, give them hands-on experience, doing calculations, getting them introduced to the experiments and the experimentalists. So they learn from day one what, what they are doing and why they are doing versus some other bigger labs where there are many layers. You make the best with what you have. And that's actually one of the characters of NRL. We don't solve a problem in, the, in an experiment by seeing how much money you can spend. You've got to put together a bailing wire and tape and figure out how to do it. This is a young woman who comes to me and asks me what I should. And I would say that we have a very good um, uh, wise group, uh, Women in Science and Engineering Network group. So uh, this networking is very, very important. And they are more active than ever before. And the, our main goal is mentoring and supporting and talking about funding to them and say that, yes, you can do it. I mean, because they always work, uh, worry about uh, work-life balance and uh, other things, you know, being a woman in a man's field. But I would tell them, no, you do not need to worry about those. And, and we, we have this, uh, this WISE program, which is very beneficial to young women researchers.